All right, patrons, you ready to do some slalom practice? But, so what we're gonna do, I want you to do actually. Go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and grab a broom. Grab a stick, grab something. I want you to grab something and hold it like this. Pretend they're your handlebars. You're sitting upright, good body posture. You grab it. The whole point of this is a swerve. It's not a turn. You're not turning. You're not going super far in a curve. You're swerving, okay? You're trying to just avoid the obstacle in front of you, get back in your lane. So you grab a broom. I want you to just move it to the side. That's it. You notice how my upper body and everything else is staying still? My head is still. I want you to do that with the bike, okay? And you, I'm going to do a few slow rotations, a few slow demos to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Here we go. Swerve to the right. There we go. You notice how I have the cone set up. The way I have the cone set up is that we're gonna have two cones up front. That's gonna let me know when I need to swerve. I try not to swerve before. I try to swerve as soon as I make it through these cones and I pick left or right. That's it. Simple as that. All right, so let's do that again. And I wanna emphasize keeping your body posture nice and upright while just moving the bike. Move the bike underneath you and then move it back so you can go straight. So let's try that again. Let's go left. You see how quick that was? Now, while we're practicing that, and I know you might be watching that part over and over and over and over again, I don't have to repeat uh, the demo a bunch of times, but if you want me to, I'll do it. Uh, well, I won't do it, just hit rewind like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> so what I want you to remember, okay, is to break either before or after, not during the swerve. Okay, you are turning basically. You do not want to break during an emergency while turning the bike like that, okay? So what you can do is break after the turn. Let's say an obstacle falls off the back of a truck and you don't have time to break beforehand and stop because you're gonna hit it. So maybe break a little bit before the turn. So let's, let's demonstrate that. Oh crap, something fell off break a little bit now I could swerve that's perfectly fine in a real-life situation that's something to practice and play around with okay I don't want you breaking during the turn that is something that we have discussed on emergency braking video breaking in a curve we discussed all that stuff and this is not the time to practice that so right now I'm gonna break after the turn or after the swerve and apply the brakes that is what you want to do. And if you want to make your life a little bit harder, if you want to make this exercise a little bit harder, if you notice I have a few cones here and here, I can maybe maneuver them a little bit. Let's go ahead and move it out. Let's move it out. So now I have just this space to swerve, okay? Those are all things that you can do to make things a little bit harder and easier, whatever it is you want to do. Try it at slower speed, then go a little bit higher speed. The goal would be at about 20, no, 12 to 18 miles an hour would be good. Now imagine doing this on the road. The best way to practice it on the road is to pretend potholes, tar snakes, like a leaf, <laughs> random things on the road, like a, a paint line, is something that you need to swerve around. So start going towards that pothole, make that swerve, practice it, upright body, turning, okay? That's all you're gonna be doing, that's all you need to do in order to practice this. 